Hi BC, Dave back with you again. Um, yeah, I'm still getting over that um, that fantastic VCLT which I received from um, CARM, uh, which um, about two weeks ago. So absolutely superb package. Um, uh, yeah, it absolutely blew me away. Um, back with another video um i have some more vclt to show you and this is courtesy of my good friend ben costello uh yeah we've yeah we, we we live not too far from each other so we do meet up from time to time and do a bit of vclt exchange so um ben had some uh, one in particular one fantastic item which i, I knew about this for a while but um I knew that he'd grabbed it, he told me, because uh, he knew it was something I was looking for. But um, uh, this, I, I'll just show that. Um, this is. This is by Current93. Uh, Current93, for those not familiar, are a industrial stroke neo folk outfit uh, centered around um, David Tibet, who also has collaborated with the likes of um, Psychic TV and um, uh, Stephen Stapleton of Nurse with Wound. Um, uh, this primarily, this is a reissue from I think from about two years ago, 2015, uh, released on his own label called um, The Spheres. Uh, this, it's basically a reissue, a double reissue of two albums. First being this album, Swastikas for Naughty which came out back in 1988 and uh, very much kind of a seminal album in the genre known as neo folk which kind of took industrial music and went down a kind of a, a traditional folk um, uh, route which I suppose or you could kind of call it apocalyptic folk or kind of very dark kind of creepy folk and um, the title is a bit of a weird one uh, Noddy was a popular children's um, character created by Enid, Enid Blyton. Um, I think it's some reference to a to a dream he had when, or some something involving Noddy and swastikas, which is uh, yeah a bit weird. But um, then. Um, Crooked Crosses for the Nodding God uh, came out the following year and is uh, consists of outtakes and alternative versions of tracks featured on um, Swastikas for Noddy. So uh, the original originals of it are extremely very pricey, uh, very hard to find. So this is a reissue and it's both discs. Uh, Swastikas for Noddy is on purple or kind of yeah, purpley blue vinyl, I suppose you call it. And um, the other one, um, not the nodding god is um, on green, kind of dark green vinyl. Uh, both sound great. Uh, let's do a uh insert there so um yeah so he's, yeah david de Bet, very much a cult figure um kind of been long term involved in the you know the the industrial and experimental music scene from the early 80s onwards but um yeah very pleased to uh, very grateful to Ben to uh, to grab that for me as um, um uh, yeah this this had this release did come out a couple of years ago but uh, I it's one that I hadn't seen around personally myself so um, very very pleased with that Ben and um, and that's not all he gave me um, he also does a couple of items that he grabbed as well uh, this is actually now this doesn't have the the actual sleeve. Uh, this is at the inner sleeve on the record itself, but this is um, Rock Against Racism. Uh, Rock Against Racism was a movement primarily in Britain in the late 70s, early 80s. Kind of grew out of the punk movement. Um, it was, you know, it was, it was in response to the, 
you know, the political situation at the time where you had the far right was kind of um, uh, emergent. Um, some of the bands featured on this include um, uh, Gang of Four, and there's also several reggae bands on here. And, uh, the sorry, just bear with me. Aswad, um, uh, Steel Pulse, uh, also a lot of uh, likes of X Ray Specs, The Clash with White Man in Hammersmith Palais, and um, Elvis Costello, uh, Stiff Little Fingers. Yeah, so this is a great, um, great compilation, and um, um. Yeah, it doesn't have the cover, but uh, it's a great inner sleeve, and I believe it's Belfast, or, or the North, Northern Ireland during the time of the Troubles. Um, also, he got me two singles which he grabbed in, in a car boot sale. Um, he, he made some fantastic finds at a car boot sale recently. Uh, first off, David Bowie, which Giorgio Moroder. Uh, this is taken from the soundtrack to the movie Cat People, and um, this is, um, uh, this is called theme. That's one of the pieces of music from the movie. Plus um, that song, uh, uh, Cat People, Putty Out the Fire, um, by Bowie. So uh, very nice indeed. Um, and another 7-inch single, which I was particularly pleased uh, to get, uh, The Human League, uh, Holiday 80. Uh, this is one of their, this is one of the later, latter entries into their kind of, um, of their early lineup uh, before they kind of, you know, before they split and before they became more commercially successful. Uh, this was released in 1980, 1980 or 81. Uh, it has an alternative version of being boiled. Um, I have the original version, which is a different recording. Also, um, a track called Marianne, and another track called Dance Vision, which was recorded in 1977 when they were uh, when they were called the Future. So, um, this is a virgin. Yeah, I'm particularly big fan of of the Human League's early stuff. So, very pleased to receive that. Okay, um, moving on now. Uh, a few videos, I, I think a couple of months back, I, I mentioned that I, I, I showed some stuff which I grabbed when a local uh, from a local record shop which is closing down. There was a 25% off sale. Uh, I did grab some more stuff on the very last day, but uh, I've been meaning to show it for ages. Now, this, this is over a month ago, I think I got these things, but... Um, yeah, so vinyl was 25% off and CDs half price. So I grabbed one more vinyl item. Now this is um, Luke Ferrari, uh, Tim Tingoulet, 1967. Uh, Luke Ferrari is a French composer and part of the um, one part of that movement known as music concrete. So this is very kind of experimental and. Um, uh, stuff. This, th these were two previously unreleased recordings that he made for television. For well, I think one was um, I think they both for television. Uh, yeah, one was made. F one was made for television anyway, and the other was uh, music concrete. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the other one was was made specifically for a um, art exhibition, I think. But uh, yeah, this is very much kind of experimental, kind of weird, you know, pretty much very, very, very out there. Um, uh, this is released on a Belgium label called um, Sub Rosa, and this is part of their early electronic um, series of reissues, where particularly, you know, early electronic or, or music concrete albums being reissued. So uh, this came, yeah. This is, I think this was really, yeah, this is a new release, actually. This is only about 2017. So, yeah, got that for 25% off. And I got a few more CDs 
for half price. Uh, first off, Actress, and I remember I, I previously I, I got another one of his CDs at the sale as well. I think I showed that previously. Uh, this is a new album called um, AZD. Um, so this is very much kind of um, experimental kind of dance electronica. Uh, yeah, pretty solid album uh, from him. Um, second up is uh, As Asmusticians, uh, Sp uh, Spat Europa. Uh, this is a reissue of an album that originally came out in 1981. Uh, this is very much kind of experimental Berlin school uh, electronic, um, German electronic music. Um, yeah, so these are all being reissued on um, on this label. Yeah, so originally came. Oh yeah, originally came out in 1982 on Sky Records. So uh, yeah, this is um, uh, that's uh, Asmusticians there. It is um, synthesizer. Yeah, very much. Uh, really, really like this album. This is um, uh, I previously heard some of his. Um, work on a, on a compilation uh, that I have um, on experimental German and crowd rock um, music so it's called um, uh, Spat Europa and this this is by the third ear band this is one of their later albums uh, it's called Magic Music um, came out in 1989 uh, this is a CD reissue from the 90s I think uh, yeah this is um, uh, six um, six musical pieces there's a strong Indian influence and very kind of experimental um, yeah uh, third year band they, they released three classic albums in the 70s and they continued on so this is uh, 1989 and uh, yeah this is a really nice pickup um, for half price uh, I'm going to move on now. Uh, I'll just show two more CDs and then I'll show you some cassettes. Um, this is something I picked up in a local bookstore, a kind of bookstore stroke record shop, which I've spoken about in the past quite a few times. Uh, this is a CD on ECM. Um, this is the ECM New Series, which is a kind of a sub label they have for you know modern 20th century classical the likes of say Arvo Part and uh, these are all pieces featuring these are all pieces these all feature Edward Brunet on clarinet so they're all solo clarinet pieces uh, this is one piece by Stockhausen, Stravinsky, Pierre Boulet and uh, there's a couple of other composers who I wasn't previously familiar with uh, Yun, Yun, I think is um, is Korean. I'm not 100 sure, but um, yeah, very interesting. Um, solo modern 20th century solo uh, solo clarinet pieces. Staying with Pierre Boulet. Um, now this is in re <laughs> the sleeve is is really in terrible condition. I picked this up in a charity shop. And uh, Boulet conducts Boulet, so it's Pierre Boulet conducting his own music. Uh, this is on Deutsche Grammophon. So yeah, so there's some um, uh, very interesting experimental pieces on here. Uh, anyone familiar with Pierre Boulet's music will know that. Um, uh, very, um, you know, uh, very experimental and um, uh, boundary pushing um, composers. So uh, yeah, I picked this up cheaply, and uh, you know, well worth finding, even even though the sleeve is not in great condition. Okay, I'm going to finish up with some cassettes. Um, now I'll start off first uh, the same second-hand bookshop stroke record shop where I found the ECM new series CD I also picked up a couple of cassettes um, 
I might have shown this one before, but I don't think I did. Uh, so there's two by Tangerine Dream. Uh, Ricochet. I already had this on vinyl, but uh, I thought it'd be nice to pick it up on cassette as well when I saw it. Um, you know, because I have my cassette player in my bedroom, so nice to be able to play this. And this is an absolutely superb album. A great, great live album from um, Tangerine Dream. Originally came out in 1975. Uh, this is a, an 80s reissue. Um, maybe I did show this before. I can't, I can't remember. Um, this one I definitely haven't shown because this is a more recent pickup. Also from Tangerine Dream. Uh, this is a soundtrack to the movie Firestarter, which came out in 1984. Uh, this came out in MCA. Uh, yeah, this does have a very 80s feel to it. Um, you know, it does have a very, very 80s production, but it is still a very nice, um, very nice uh, soundtrack indeed. One of their later one, the 80s ones. No. Um, these two I found in a charity shop, or a struck thrift shop. Picked them up only for 50 cent each. Um, they're both bootlegs. Uh, this is Talking Heads, and um, uh, it's um, this is um, um, Little Creatures from 1985. But uh, it doesn't actually mention the name of the album on, on this but uh, this is a bootleg from um, Singapore it's on a uh, soundtrack uh, a label called Original Sound Recordings now uh, previously on my cassette um, update I remember I, sh I showed a lot of these bootlegs which are mainly from um, uh, Saudi Arabia and some also from Indonesia and so forth now that Saudi label uh, Thompson original I showed quite a few of those now this this is also on that label Thompson original uh, this is the soundtrack to absolute beginners um, featuring David Bowie among others um, yeah most most of the Thompson originals they have these kind of plastic um, cassettes um, cases but this one just is a conventional um, glass one so uh, yeah, nice little find. Uh, now I'm going to move up. Next three I found in a flea market. Uh, they're quite cheap. Now they're all very interesting finds. Um, first up, Soft Cell, um, the non-stop ecstatic dancing uh, from 1982. Um, it's kind of a features remixes of albums from their debut album um, or remixes of songs from their debut album um, non-stop erotic cabaret and this came out in 1982 uh, this is um, an Irish uh, the Irish cassette version of that album uh, which wasn't previously on Discog so I've added this to the database um, so uh, interesting little find uh, this is something which I actually found on vinyl uh, not too long ago, but uh, again, I uh, have it on cassette. Uh, this is Left Field, uh, Leftism, which came out in 1995. Classic um, dance album. Lastly, this is Enigma, uh, 1990. Uh, this album, yeah, this is a yeah, this is a big selling album back in the day, and it's kind of it's kind of everywhere that year. But this is um, this is a limited edition uh, with a very very nice hologram uh, cover. I don't know if you can kind of make it out there. The hologram effect does. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it there now. Um, very very nice cover, and this is this is pretty rare. This is pretty collectible. This. Um, this particular um, special edition with the with the hologram cover, so got it for one euro fifty, which is um, which is great. Uh, so that's it. That's everything. Uh, I have a lot more stuff to show as well. There's a lot of stuff after building up, so uh, I'll be doing a separate video for that at some point. So 
so okay so thanks very much everybody for watching and um, take care